I think we have all right, well, where is my screen? <laughs> All right, here it is. Now I can see everyone. All right, good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Oh my goodness, the screen is changing. <laughs> Luisa, stop changing the settings. <laughs> All right. So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining this special event today, uh, which is focused. Sorry, I'm having some difficulties here. Which is focused on sharing our information and how this works. So before we start, I would like to thank organizing, planning, and executing this event. Most important is our VP of Public Relations, who is Luisa Martinez, for all her hard work she has put to make this event successful. So thank you, Luisa. And all the guests, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this special event today. And I, who is Miss? You know, um, you are cutting in and out. I don't know if oh. you have other programs open on your computer, but if I you, am. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, it doesn't normally happen, so I don't know if you can maybe close extra programs. Yeah. So you could have a uh, stronger bandwidth and maybe if you have your landline there because you are giving your speech today. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, let me see what I can do. You sound better now. Um, or maybe your headset is- How about still. now? Sorry. Oh yeah, you're right. It could be her headset's dying. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. now your head's gone. <laughs> yeah, don't go too far away. She tells <laughs> the background, you decide. Okay. So perhaps <laughs> speech you will need to be like here <laughs> in the camera all right you can go ahead eva okay okay then i will take it over for you all right well hello everyone i'm so excited to see multiple guests here this is our open house meeting it's a little bit different than our normal meetings that's just because it's centered around you as a guest so we have a different structure to our meeting. I will share with you our agenda. So you should be able to see my screen in which we have today's agenda. I can zoom in if that'll make it easier for you to see. All of our meetings follow a very particular format. We normally have the first half of our meeting in which we do introductions. Then we have a prepared speaker, someone who knew what their speech was ahead of time. Then after that speaker goes, we have a second speaker normally. In this case, because we have a longer first speech, we only have one speaker. We have a table topic section, which is a really fun impromptu speaking opportunity. This really helps you think on your feet, understand how to quickly respond to someone, how to reply when you didn't know what was coming. It's great for meeting preparation. And we encourage everyone to participate in that. And then the second half of our meeting is our evaluation portion. We have an evaluator who is scheduled to give a formal evaluation for the speaker. And we also have different roles like grammarians and timers that help us understand how we're doing in the program. So you should see this agenda. As I said, today is a special meeting. So it is very similar to what we normally do, but it is tailored towards you. So Everything on here is about new members. Our speech is a little longer. And the way that we will be going through the meeting might be a little different. We might have a little bit more explanation. So during this first half of the meeting, I would like to introduce our roles of the day. Our Toastmasters within the club take turns being a particular role. So this gives us a great opportunity to learn these skills and also to practice our leadership 
So I'll start with our grammarian. Our grammarian today is Alex. Alex, would you like to introduce yourself to the team? Hi, yes, my name is Alex Jansen. I'm the grammarian for the day. So I will be counting people's ahs, ahs, uh, filler words, those types of things. The word of the day is iota, or a very small quantity or small amount. And I will post that in the chat as well. Perfect. Thank you, Alex. So with the word of the day, you are encouraged to use it. So if you have an opportunity to speak today, whether you're a role holder like myself and the other officers, or whether you're giving a speech or doing our table topics, you're encouraged to use IOTA because every IOTA matters when it comes to practicing. So let me introduce our next role. We have our topics master, Michelle. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, today I will be the one that has several questions for the audience that helps you um, organize your thoughts quickly and be able to respond to any impromptu questions. They are easy questions and a whole lot of fun, so not anything to be nervous about. You have anywhere between one and two minutes to respond to this topic in which our timer, which will be introduced soon, uh, will, will alert you when that time starts to come up. Fantastic. Thank you, Michelle. Speaking of timer, let me introduce Pablo to you. Hello, everyone. I'm right here, moving, waving my arms. I'm going to be playing the role of timer today. Some people don't care a iota about time, but here in this meeting we do, not because it's important, it's because we want to respect other people's time. I'm going to try to keep the meeting within uh, our schedule and I'm gonna be signaling the time left for the speakers so they know when to prepare uh, to end and make sure that they don't extend beyond their allotted time. Perfect, thank you, Pablo. And you will notice as we're going through the Toastmasters meeting, whenever we give someone the floor or whenever they've had an opportunity to speak, we tend to clap. Normally in a physical meeting, we would have them walk up to the podium. We would shake their hands, give them a formal, invitation to speak to the floor, but because we don't do that, we do try to clap. So you can either clap like this, or you can do the sign language version of applause, anything to just encourage the speaker and to thank them for coming up to the stage. We have several other roles, including speaker. So we have a planned speaker today. We have a planned evaluator. So Brian will be our evaluator for Cheadle's speech. We also have our general evaluator, which is Louisa. So Louisa will be hosting that second half of the meeting. So I do the first half and she'll do the second half. And I am your Toastmaster of the day. So the Toastmaster of the day is the person conducting the meeting and that could be anyone in the club. I happen to be an officer, but it could be anyone. Brand new members can be the Toastmaster of the day. And I would like to say that there are several officers in the meeting today. I am your vice president of membership. So I'm the person that will be working with you if you would like to sign up. So that is me, if you see emails from me, that's why. I would like to just give an opportunity, if you're an officer, just raise your hand, wave, and I'll introduce you. So we see, we already were introduced to Louisa. She's our VPPR. We have Brian, who's on uh, my right. I don't know where he is on your screen. Brian, give a wave. So he's our secretary. We have Andre, who's our treasurer. So that'll be the person that you pay if you would like to join. We have Alyssa, who is our Vice President of Education. We have Veronica, who's our assistant to our Vice President of Education. And we have Sheetal, who's our president. Did I skip anyone? No, yes, I did. I skipped Doug, who is our Sergeant of Arms. Sorry, Doug. He and I were just chatting earlier. Perfect. And then we have Pablo, who is our mentor lead. Really important role. Make sure that you get assigned a mentor when you join the club. I think that's all of our officers and all of our roles. The last one I'd like to introduce is our awards person of the day, which is Andre. So would you like to speak at all about the award process? Absolutely, I would, Ava. Thank you everyone for coming today. Um, today, you're going to vote, okay? I know it's difficult for a lot of people and figuring things out, but I would like to point out that we need a vast majority of you to vote today on our table topics. So that way we have a good sample size so I can decide who's first and who's last ultimately. Um, and also to make sure we don't have an iota of votes, 
we need to uh, vote first place, second place, yeah, even third place, why not? But we need to have people vote today. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Andre. And so you'll do that through the chat box, through private message. So when you go to the two section, you'll select which person you would like to share that comment with. So in this case, Andre, make sure to find his name. Maybe he can even adjust his name to say awards. Same with perhaps the other roles, if you could go in and rename yourself to have your role so that the guests know who you are. You should all be seeing, getting ahead of yourself, you should all be seeing uh, Sheetal's screen. So in case you have to move that around and change roles, I'll give you the opportunity. So Sheetal has been a part of Dell Master Speakers for the last three years. She is currently working on her innovative planning path and is completing her level four elective question and answer. Her speech today is all about Toastmasters. As part of the speech, she will cover our club information, how Toastmasters works, and most importantly, how Toastmasters can help you boost your careers. As part of her project, we will have an allocated time for Q&A at the end of her speech. So we encourage you to think about the questions that you'd like to ask, but to hold off on asking them until the end. During the speech, we ask that everyone please go on mute. And with that, I would like us to give a warm welcome to Sheetal. Thank you, Eva. I forgot to unmute myself. Can, uh, can you confirm, Eva, if you can hear me okay at this distance? I can, but I would suggest okay. three steps forward, just in case. Okay, all right. <clears throat> what could you accomplish if you could present your point of view more persuasively? Whether you are conveying information Hold on a second, I'm getting some technical difficulties here. Okay. So um, whether you are conveying information to your coworkers, that's from better communication skills. Toastmasters is a worldwide nonprofit educational organization that empowers people to become more effective communicators and leaders. The numbers on this slide represent Toastmasters footprint. The motto of Toastmasters is where leaders are made. And our club helps us be exactly that to conquer our own peers and to improve. The main idea behind Toastmaster is to practice a certain skill over and over until it becomes a habit. There are several benefits of joining our Toastmasters club. Let me highlight a few critical ones that I think are important for career growth. First and foremost, communication. Communication skills are a huge part of how Toastmaster helps professionals and um, the Toastmaster members have endless opportunities to polish this skill that is very important for career advancement. So communication skills and leadership skills, they go hand in hand. Toastmasters is known for its well-organized and engaging meetings, and they get that through strong leadership. Members practice leadership skills by running engaging meetings every single week. Most of us 
have had that terrifying experience of freezing up when asked to speak up unexpectedly i know i did a several times in addition to writing and delivering your speeches those masters gain experience in impromptu speeches this is a regular meeting section called table topics in which uh, you speak for 1 to 2 minutes on a subject for which you have had no advanced preparation so in the workplace the rewards of learning to speak on your feet are tremendous you may be called upon to speak to your boss or customers or an executive member of your team practicing this skill over and over will enable you to talk about anything and respond quickly to questions instead of having your mind go blank those masters provide a fun yet constructive way to network with others in our club we have people from engineering sales marketing finance you you know when you attend seminars or one day conferences after few weeks you forget about what you learned when you regularly attend those masters meetings the skills that you learn stay with you for a lifetime in our club since we meet every week members continue to practice and develop skills beyond communication skills those masters programs specifically targets listening critical thinking uh, giving and receiving feedback planning organizing delegation mentoring and most of all team building each meeting has volunteer leadership roles including uh, toast masters evaluator timers grammarian the one that eva introduced in the beginning of the meeting our club is self paced and offers hands on learning environment that provides you with opportunities to give both prepared and impromptu speeches after you give your speech you receive honest encouraging and structured evaluations and you will have an ability to implement the feedback in later speeches the pathway to learning experience is toast masters education program pathway focuses on five core competencies and 11 specialized learning paths and we will go over those in my next slide each member receives one free path to start with and they are able to work on multiple paths at the same time when you first log in to base camp which is also the home of pathways you can take an assessment that will recommend three paths for you and you are free to choose any path that you want all resources and projects are available online and in print and best of all you can work at your own pace and along the way you will build professional skills the combination of pathways learning experience with the supportive environment found in our club is what makes toast masters such a powerful tool here is the glimpse into uh, what pathways looks like so there are 11 paths and five core competencies and out of these five core competencies confidence is unique because um, it is something that cannot be taught but it is gained in every path 
you can see that confidence is common to all these paths. In each path, you learn multiple competences. So for example, if you want to work on your public speaking, as well as interpersonal communication and management, then leadership development path is the right for you. Or if you care only about um, public speaking, then either engaging humor or the presentation mastery are the better paths for you. Okay, so Toastmaster offers the most cost effective way to learn and practice. Our Toastmasters Club is inexpensive to join. And unlike any other programs, the learning never stops there. There is one time $20 fees for the new members that you have to pay when you join the club and uh, $45 for the six months of membership. Most of our members are getting 100% uh, reimbursement through Dell, but it varies by organization. So you need to check with your manager on that. All right, so are you ready to join our club? Well, if you are, then here is what you need to do. First, start by speaking with our vice president of membership, which is Ms. Eva Tweedy, and completing your application. When you are done, return the completed application with your dues, and you are ready to enjoy the numerous benefits of being a Toastmaster. Here are some of the resources that you can go through to get more information about our club and in general on Toastmasters program. With that, thank you. I will open the floor for question and answers. So if you have a question, uh, Sheetal, would you like for them to raise a hand to come off mute and ask, or would you like for them to ask you questions through the chat or both? No, let's, let's just use, um, uh, let's just unmute yourself and ask the question rather than going through chat. Perfect. So who has a question for Sheetal? I'm sure there are quite a few. This might be the first time you've ever heard about Toastmasters. So don't be shy, feel free to come off mute. Looks like my presentation was really great. <laughs> it was awesome, Sheetal. <laughs> Thank you, Pablo. Hi, Sheetal. Go ahead, Malika. Uh, Sorry, I really enjoyed the presentation. Um, I've been wanting to join Toastmasters for two years, actually, and uh, never got up the courage or the confidence uh, to, to join. So I feel nervous, but I'm, I'm really excited to be part of it. Um, Shital, is it, is it easy for me to join as part, even though I'm not in the US, like I can still be part of this group? Yes, as long as you are a Dell employee, you can join this club. Okay, good. That's great news. Awesome. How many times a week do you meet? Oh, um, our club meets once a week um, on Thursdays during lunchtime, which is noon, uh, which is, yeah, noon to one. Uh, this is the central time. Hey, Sheetal. Uh, thanks for walking us through. Um, I guess you already answered the question. Mine was around the cadence of this meeting, but uh, I'm really excited uh, to join Toastmasters and thanks Eva for inviting me over today. Yay, awesome. Thanks, Kartik. Sheetal, would you tell us how can we pay for this? How, how the transaction happens? Yeah, so... Um, in order to pay for your membership dues, you can uh, talk to our awesome treasurer, Mr. Andre Vines, who is also on this call. 
Um, and, uh, you know, we normally use PayPal uh, and we just use PayPal to uh, pay our membership dues. Is it funded I, by Dell? Uh, Sorry, I should tell you, but thank you. Um, on, as far as membership goes, do you use a tuition reimbursement benefit to get it paid for? Yeah, so it depends on your organization. You need to talk to your manager. Uh, most of our members are getting reimbursed. Okay, Actually, let me, the... let me clarify. It's not, not the, you can't use a, the tuition one because that requires to go through a university and all that. The way we've all done it is that you talk to your manager and he 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 takes it from the whatever budget he ha he ha he has allocated he or she has allocated for for the team training for training purposes. for yeah. training purposes. Yes. Yeah. And the cost of Toastmasters is so minimal compared to other training programs. A very very seldom do managers balk at reimbursing you for this. Yes. Thanks, Stephen. All right, Sheetal, I think you have time for one more question and then I have to take the floor from you. Awesome, last question. I have one quick question. Um, it's regarding voting. Are we supposed to be voting for something just now, Sheetal? Not yet. No, okay. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will vote uh, for the best table topics in the end. Um, and also our timer will tell you if all the members qualified or not. And based on that qualification, you will vote for those members. Yeah, but great question, Alison. Thank you all. Great, thank nice you, Sheila. Nice big round of applause. Thank you. That was a fantastic speech. And I always love giving this opportunity to speak to especially new members and her deck we can send out to all the guests here. And we also have a guest packet that I'll be emailing you a link to. It's on our team site and it has information that she covered as well as information once you decide to become a member. It also has information on how to get started in our program and what you need to do. So it's a really great structure. If you have additional questions, I'm sure you could reach out to Sheetal, you can reach out to myself, Louisa, any of the officers here. We would love to talk to you more about this, especially for members of my team I see on here. We can totally have a virtual coffee chat and I can tell you a lot more about this organization and how much I love it. Uh, some of us have been in here a few years and it is very addictive and it's a fantastic program. So thank you so much. So at this time, if anyone has any comments, we like to have comments, whether it's constructive uh, criticisms or feedback, positive encouragement. If you would like to send that over to Sheetal, you can use the chat and use that private feature to send her a little note. Let her know that you appreciate her efforts. Let her know that next time, perhaps you could do it this way, but I thought it was amazing. Whatever it is that you have, please take some time to send her those comments. And while you're doing that, I would like to call up Michelle to the floor to start our table topics section. It's a big Thank round of applause for Michelle. Thank you all. I am, uh, table topics is one of my favorite times of, of this whole meeting. Uh, one, because it allows you to get to know your team members a whole lot more and it stretches you and that's what we're here for and that's how we learn. Uh, so with table topics, we're going to ask very, a few very simple questions, and you have one to two minutes to answer that question. At one minute, our timer, Pablo, I believe. Yes, Pablo will be turning his background green to let you know that you have met the time. At about one minute and 30 seconds, he will turn his screen yellow to let you know it's time to start wrapping it up. And at two minutes, he will turn his screen red to let you know that you need to to wrap it up, you're done with your, your time. So with that, we've got several questions in play and I would like to ask one of our current members to answer the first question to get everybody aware of, of how, this, how this works. Who would I like to? Volunteer. Alyssa, yes, yeah. thank you very much. All right, our first question, Alyssa, is what does Toastmasters mean to you and why did you join? Hello, fellow Toastmasters guests. 
Um, Toastmaster is a safe and uh, supportive place for me to improve my public speaking skills as well as the leadership skill. I remember my very first meeting at Toastmaster. I just appeared as a guest to support my colleague, but everyone was so welcoming and uh, everyone was just uh, really encouraging me, trying to get understand of my goals and uh, why I wanted to be there. And I felt so comfortable at that meeting. I even decided to go up and do my first table topic. I had to, it was uh, terrifying. It was a topic that I was just like, what is this thing? I guess I'll say whatever I can think of for the topic. But uh, after I finished that practice, I was like, wow, uh, yeah, it is something that will actually come up pretty often in your life. You would have some stranger talking to you and you have a random topic, you have to brainstorm or like uh, just those random conversations is almost everywhere in our life. And I also got to witness some really amazing speakers that meeting. And I learned so much just by witnessing how they were doing it and also by listening to some other people's feedback on their speech, pointing out the small things that were, they were doing well or the small things that they could really improve on. That was something that I really needed because normally when you give a speech in public, people just say, oh, it was great. Or like, yeah, you could do better, but you never have someone to give you that level of feedback that you could actually use for later. So that's why I joined Toastmaster and I hope that was helpful for everybody too. Thank you. Fantastic, Alyssa. So as you can all see, you don't know what the question is until you volunteer. We throw up the question and you answer that off the cuff. Thank you, Pablo. I could see the, the green and the yellow come up. So if you weren't able to see Pablo's screen, make sure that you pin him up there so that you can see uh, how the timing works. Uh, with that, I do want to do a call out because Andre is doing the awards at the end. And the what you're looking for in the awards is one, did they meet the time of, of that between one and two minutes? And then who is just clear and concise and was able to answer the question effectively? It doesn't have to be in any format of opening, closing. It's just sharing your overall knowledge and answering that question. With that, who would like to go next out of our guests? You'll be fine, I promise you, it's fun. <laughs> That feeling of anxiety is only because you care. Oh, Tanya, <laughs> Tanya signed up for that. Ah, my girl. All right, <laughs> Miss Tanya. Uh, she is one of my coworkers, so I appreciate Tanya signing up. All right, Miss Tanya, what is one hobby that you would love to get into? Two minutes. Ooh, okay. Um, one hobby that I'd really like to get into is rock climbing. Um, since like quarantine started, I actually started trying to figure out things that I like and enjoy. So I started doing spin and that was really fun just because it was like my own thing that I could do. Um, didn't have to like rely on anyone else's schedule. I could just do it myself. Um, so like after like more research of like doing more things that are active, um, rock climbing came to mind. Um, and I just think it'd be really fun and it's like really great exercise as well. So um, yeah, definitely rock climbing. I'm just kind of waiting for um, things to get a little bit more open and just like a little bit more safe before starting to rock climb just because um, I think it's a little like more close in quarters. Whereas like with my spin classes, um, they have everyone like separated by like um, shower curtains and there's only like six people per class. So it's like a little bit more spread out. Um, whereas I feel like rock climbing might be more of like a gym situation. Um, so yeah. Do I you talking? <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> See, that's what I love to learn about people. Fantastic. Thank you. Who would like to go next? I would like to go, please. Allison, fantastic. All right. Your question is, what is the first concert that you ever went to? And you're going to speak until you see Pablo turn green. Oh my goodness, this is going to be an embarrassing one. Um, the first concert that I ever went to was the Spice Girls. 
I don't know how popular the Spice Girls are in, or where in the US, but in the UK they were really popular in the whole notion of girl, girl power. Uh, when uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of the age that I was when I went to see the Spice Girls, I think I was about 12 and I went with a group of uh, girl friends and I also remember that we were, were so um, enthusiastic about the Spice Girls that we dressed up as them. Uh, I don't know if you can guess which one that I was when I <laughs> dressed up as the Spice Girls, but um, uh, Ginger was my favourite. So um, yeah, it was a really fun memory for me. Uh, I love live music actually until this day. Um, it, yeah, it's something that I really enjoy. Uh, Go on just a little bit more. Um, yes, yeah, so oh, I think the next concert that I went to um, was a band called Steps. I don't know if anybody ever heard of them before. Um, they were popular in the UK and equally cheesy as the Spice Girls. Uh, so I think I'm giving away my, my cheesy music taste here today. So maybe you all got to know me a little bit too, too much. Maybe I won't be invited back. Love it, Alison. <laughs> you fit right in. We're all crazy. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Who's next? Should we do the style that, like a director style, when we call out people? I mean, she'll have the, <laughs> have the right to call out people. <laughs> I'm going to give you 10 seconds and then I'm going to call someone out. Uh, I can probably go. Yay. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Your question is, what advice would you give to your teenage self? Wow. Well, it's a tough question, but let me think about it for a second. Okay. I think I, as a teenager, uh, without an iota of doubt, would think, uh, take life uh, as it is, take it easy. Because I, as a teenager, back when I was probably 16 or 17, I was pretty steep fast, and I was fretting a lot about the career and the uncertainties that were lined up right in front of me. Uh, wish I could just go back to myself 10 years, 13 years before and tell myself not to fret about all of this and to take life you know, as it comes, uh, take it easy and to take a, take a break once in a while and to you know, feel what it is to be, you know, be grateful for everything that I have than about just hustling um, and just getting past uh, one day after another. Uh, but other than this, uh, you know, the other advice that I would give myself was to probably be, take my, you know, things outside of work pretty seriously, like relationships and friends. Um, I could, definitely do a better job of keeping up with a lot of my high school friends, which, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's one, one key advice that I would definitely give back because I feel, you know, relationships are key wherever you are, uh, be it, you know, in your personal life or in your professional life. I think beyond a point, you cannot be speaking from your analytical mind and uh, it's extremely important for you to connect with people. So that's a key advice that would I would be giving myself, you know, probably if I were a teenager now. Uh, but other than that, uh, if I were to think about anything else, uh, I can't. Uh, but thank you so much for this opportunity. Fantastic. Thank you, Karthik. You resonated with me. <laughs> All right. Who is up, up next? I'll give you guys about 15 seconds. And then I've already got someone I've got my eye on. I can go. All right. My first time. If Carthy could do it, I could do it. So yeah, there you go. What is one thing you are learning now and why is it important? What is one thing I'm learning now? Um, 
Well, probably the reason why I came here was because I want to continue to learn and continue to improve. I think given the stage where I am in my career, I was very happy to take a new role and take a new opportunity and learning the job I am now. I'm now nine months in realizing that there are new challenges on the horizon and skills I need is such as public speaking, presentation, leadership, organization, and just being able to critical think that um, in the that in the past I was challenging myself with outside of work, but given the times I haven't been able to challenge myself as much, and I feel like some of that has gone on the wayside. So by stepping up and showing up to the meeting, um, thank you for the encouragement, Ava. I was um, actually happy to see some of my teammates on the call. I didn't know who was going to come. Um, I think Toastmasters have literally been on my calendar probably for maybe years working at Dell, but never had the confidence to come. So I'm happy to step up and learn how I can constantly improve my skills, both as a presentation, as a leader and a communicator. So I'm excited to be here and um, eager to see where this journey takes me. So that's what I am learning to do now is to take risks and join a club. Perfect timing. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Timer, do we have time for one more? We are tight for one more. If somebody really wants to go, we can do it. Let's do it, one more. Come on up on 15 seconds. Damon, would you like to go? Damon, can you hear me? Would you like to go? Maybe we should. Uh, All right, yeah, having some problems face. there. I'm here. <laughs> Unless you want to go, we don't want to make you go. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> what would you do to turn things around when you're having a bad day? Oh, that's a good question. So, um, first of all, thank you guys for uh, the opportunity to do this. Uh, it's a good question. It's um, something that I had to actively learn um, as I kind of came out of. Um, college and, and high school um, the, the first piece of advice I always have for myself is to take a step back um, to look at the bigger picture uh, I think sometimes uh, at least myself we get a little bit too much caught up in the moment and have tunnel vision and so ha know, having the ability to step back and realize what the problem is and what this, the, the proper solution would be that for, my, for myself gives me a better line of sight on how to fix the problem, um, which, is, which is generally what, what I get anxiety over. So uh, understanding the problem in, in full depth, um, why, why it's occurring, and what would be the best course of action to remedy, that's something that I constantly remind myself to do. Um, for, for other people, I, I would have the same, um, same advice. Um, take a step back, understand what the problem is, and have a clear path to go forward and fix it. Thank you all very much. Fantastic job. Don't forget to send your votes over to Andre, which changed his name to send me your votes. So you might want to wait until we have the timers report, just in oh, case sorry. anyone <laughs> technically qualify, though I think they ever, everyone did. But I, I love that. And you can also send feedback to anyone who gave a table topic. If you thought that they were super awesome or you want to talk to Allison more about Spice Girls, feel free to do so in private chat. We encourage that collaboration. We also encourage you to develop relationships with the people on the team. So really excited about that. So now that we have the first half of the meeting over, I would like to hand over the floor to Louisa, who will be our general evaluator and host the second half of our meeting today. Thank you, Eva. And congratulations to all of you just for being here. You already took a, take a step to better yourself and to improving your leadership and communication skills. So I'm so proud of all of you and especially also from everybody who had uh, the opportunity to par participate in table topics. And I'm sure you will have more opportunities coming up. In this section of evaluation is the second part of the meeting of our regular meetings where we do evaluate our speech. Um, and I'm gonna introduce our first evaluator, Brian Trasher, he'll uh, take care of the evaluation for she talk, 
web sure. So welcome, Brian. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Sheetal, thank you so much for that informative speech. I think you did a great job outlining what our new uh, potential members, our guests needed to know. You covered a lot of info in a relatively short amount of time. And I think you were able to anticipate most of the questions that our potential members would have had. I think that one of the best things about the speech was that you spoke slowly and clearly. And I know that a lot of times when we're giving speeches, we get nervous and we start to speed up and I'm probably doing that right now. So I, I commend you for the entire time speaking very slowly and very clearly, there were no issues there. The goal of the speech was to inform and I think you achieved that, but I think there might've been some opportunities to uh, maybe grab the attention of the audience more and I know it's a del delicate balance when we're dealing with an informative speech versus something like a persuasive speech. You still wanna be uh, professional and making sure you're packing in the information. But I think maybe you could have talked more about your own experience as an example, or use someone else's story as an example, or even using a hypothetical member and walking us through how that member might go through this process so that there's uh, an illustration of these things rather than just the information itself. I also think that when we get to the Q&A, you did a good job answering all the questions, but I think that uh, you could have even connected with the audience more at that point. For instance, one tip that I always think about when doing Q&A is to try to repeat the question that someone asks. Mm -hmm. And there's four good reasons to do this, which that's a, that's a lot of good reasons. Number one is uh, you can get those who might not have heard it the first time another opportunity to hear it. Two, it gives you a chance to think about your answer. Three, it gives the listener one more opportunity to make sure that you understood them so they can correct you if you somehow misheard. And then four, it gives you one more opportunity to connect with the person asking the question and say, let me make sure I understood you and your question and show that you care to answer what they're asking. And that, that with these informative speeches, it can be hard to connect with the audience. And so we should take every opportunity we have to make sure we do that. All that being said, I think it was a good speech. You had really good slides, good eye contact throughout a quick reaction when you had technical difficulties. And I think it was a very informative speech for our potential members. So thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much, Brian, for your evaluation. It was really concise and with a lot of actionable feedback that she can implement in future communications and in future, future speeches. So moving on with the part of the evaluation, we are going to have right now our timers report. So you guys can vote after uh, we see who qualifies. So Pablo, can you please let us know how we're doing on time? Thank you, Luisa. Everyone qualified. I am going to be brief because we need to uh, meet our timing for today. Mm -hmm. But I just want to remind everyone about the speeches that we heard today. Um, uh, uh, we shouldn't be voting for Elisa, correct? Yeah, I don't think so. Elisa is a pro. Okay, <laughs> okay. Elisa doesn't do, do not vote for Elisa. But we have Tania talking about her hobby, which was rock climbing. We had uh, Allison talking about her the Spice Girls, her first concert. We had uh, Karthik talking about the his friends and the big picture regarding uh, his advice as a teenager, the things that he should have cared about. We had Brian. Uh, with uh, a better me about the things that he's working on. And then we had Damon with uh, taking a step back to turn around your day. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So send your votes to send me your vote, <laughs> Andre, in private message. And the reason why we do a voting is it's not so much, uh, well, it's a little bit of a competition, but no, it's really to know where you stand in your communication skills, 
how you need to improve. We provide feedback on private messaging and that will help you to start getting more confident and don't feel bad if you are not in the first place or, I mean, it's not, it's not about that. It's more about giving you the pat in the back, like you're going in the right direction. So as for grammarian, I would like to ask the report to Alex Jensen. So please let us know how did we do with these filler words? I felt like I said a lot of them. So our uh, good, good question. Overall, I think we did really well as a group. Uh, and um is really the what is used the most. Uh, really, most of us did really amazing. I'm proud as a group just seeing people's progress since I've been in here. And uh, I know for those of you who are, are are guests and new to doing this, it can be a little nerve wracking the first time. So uh, I'm even doing it right now as I'm talking and explaining this. <laughs> So really overall though, great job. We had three people that I heard use the word of the day, which is awesome. Uh, so shout out to Ava, Pablo and um, Karthik for doing that. Great job. Just uh, watch your uhs and ums everyone and, uh, and really awesome having all the guests here. Thank you so much. So now my part is while we wait for the votes to be counted, I'm going to give some feedback about how our meeting went. And I'm so happy that our meeting started on time and we actually had time to communicate with you and welcome you and kind of break up a little bit, you know, the formality of it. We, we have a very organized meeting. I like that we have an agenda, that we knew what we were doing. We had the time, we hit the times. Uh, for our topics, our speech. So that's wonderful. One thing that I would uh, recommend in for the future meetings is when we have a lot of people that instead of uh, doing our speeches far away, we come closer because when we have a lot of little screens, it's very difficult to keep up with the speaker and being able to focus on one person. So that would be one of the recommendations and as well, recommendations for everyone new and, and who is not used to see as a screen as full as this, you can also use the ability to pin your window in to be able to follow up with the timer, follow up with the speaker. So I think that's very useful. Would you recommend standing up or sitting down in a stage of Zoom? You know, it depends on what, what kind of audience you have. In Toastmasters, we are mm, a lot into the standing speaking because it's, it's a power position. However, when we are in a setting of a uh, meeting for you know our own, own team, it's usually sitting down. And I usually come closer so I can see the expressions and they can see what I'm trying to communicate. Not so close, Pablo, not so close. <laughs> want to ask our uh, awards person of the day, Andre, if we are ready or do you need a few more minutes? And if you need a few more minutes, I can ask for some feedback if it's needed until like you're ready. <clears throat> all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, children of all ages, thank you again for coming today. And I just wanna say that the participation in this uh, event was, was fun, it was great. And we got to see a, a side of people I, I didn't know existed <laughs> in some folks. Uh, and it, it definitely brought out some laughter and we had a lot of fun today. So I will go ahead and <clears throat> begin with our first award for the day, <clears throat> which is our first timer which goes out to, let's see, we have a bunch of folks, Tanya, Allison, Karthik, Brian, and Damon. Thank you so much for your, uh, your participation and being brave and jumping into this as a first timer. It's not easy. And I, I, I'm just really excited that you guys came in today and participated. So, and I speak for our officers here when, when we say this is, this is fun. This is awesome when people do this. Now, can I get a drum roll, please? 
our best table topics goes to the Spice Girl herself, Alice. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I would just like to say this has been a lot less stressful than I had imagined it in my head to be. And everybody's been so nice and welcoming. So thank you. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so proud of everybody. Take, taking the stage takes, uh, yeah, being brave sometimes and getting out of, of our comfort zone. Thank you, Andrea, for sharing that words. Now I'm going to hand it out to Shital to close out the meeting. And thank you, everybody, for attending today. Yeah, well, thank you, Luisa. Um, I want to thank all of our guests for their participation. Hope you gained some valuable information today. You are welcome to join our future meetings. Uh, if you think you want to understand um, the structure of our meetings better, before you join the club. So, uh, you know, with that, feel free to reach out to any of us if you have further questions. Thank you all. Thank you and expecting the email from me with the application. <laughs> You're not obliged, but if you would like to sign up, we'd love to have you. Yes. Or you can just come, just come as a guest still. If you if you're yep. if you're unsure, just keep coming and checking it yeah, out. Keep coming. Come next week. We hope to see you guys. <laughs> uh, I yeah. will send the invite. Uh, we have the sending invite for you if you wish to come um, the following week. Send in enroll. All right. All bye. right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.